Welcome guys to our third day of Chapel at Home Week of Prayer edition with your buddy, Pastor Link. I hope you're all learning a lot about Jesus and how much he loves you and how much he wants to rescue you from all your problems. Especially now that we're going through this coronavirus pandemic. Who remembers what I spoke of yesterday? Do you? You? Yeah, you right there watching this? Do you remember? Remember I told you the story of Jesus calming the storm? Jesus and his followers are in a boat, right? But then all of a sudden, a big strong storm comes and the whole ship is like, Aah! and there's water everywhere and the followers are scared. They think they're gonna die. But then they wake up Jesus and Jesus says, quiet, be still. And the storm is quiet and still. Jesus has the power to tell your toughest problems to be quiet and be still. Jesus has the power to rescue you from your problems before they get too big. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the prophet Jeremiah. Our story is found in Jeremiah chapter 29. But before we start, I have a question for you. Do you like writing and receiving letters? It's 2020, do people even write letters? Have you ever written a letter? I love writing letters to my friends, and I also love sending them little gifts on those letters. Do you know what type of gifts I send my friends? Pokemon stickers! Here I have a Bulbasaur, a Charizard, a Squirtle, a Pikachu with a Pokeball, and I even have a Mewtwo. In our story, the prophet Jeremiah is writing a letter to the Israelites who have been taken from their home by Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Do you remember King Nebuchadnezzar? He's the one that threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego inside the blazing furnace because they did not want to bow down and worship a golden statue. God allowed Nebuchadnezzar to take the Israelites from their hometown because the Israelites started worshiping other gods. Remember, the first command in God's law says that you must love the Lord your God more than anything else. But the Israelites start to love other fake gods. So God allows Nebuchadnezzar to take his people, the Israelites, to Babylon. This is kind of like a timeout for the Israelites. Do you know why people are put in timeout? So that they can think on what they did wrong and learn from their mistakes. God wants the Israelites to stop loving other fake gods. And instead he wants them to love him with all of their hearts. Do you know how long the Israelites are in timeout for? 70 years! That's right! Seven zero. That's a long time. So the prophet Jeremiah is writing a letter to the Israelites that are in Babylon. But this letter isn't from Jeremiah, it's from God. Just because the Israelites are in timeout in Babylon, it doesn't mean that God does not want to talk to them. God always wants to talk to you. And when God does talk to you, I promise you that it's going to be a blessing in your life. I promise that it's going to be awesome. Anytime God tells you something, it's amazing. When God talks to you, it's always good news. God tells the Israelites in this letter that he knows the plans that he has for them. God is the creator of the universe. He created you. He created me. He created the Israelites. He created King Nebuchadnezzar. He created the prophet Jeremiah. He created everyone. And because he created everyone and he created the universe, he also knows what's gonna happen in history. He can control history. God knows the future of the Israelites. And you wanna know what God sees in their future? Did you say yes or no? I couldn't hear you. Jeremiah 29 11 says, I have good plans for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. Even though the Israelites were in time out, God still has good plans for them. He knows that in these good plans, the Israelites will stop loving other fake gods and start to love God. In fact, he tells them that if they seek him, if they look for him, they will find him. This is a promise. If you look for Jesus with all of your heart, you will find him. You guys know that we are in this coronavirus pandemic. This might seem scary. Our future might seem scary. Maybe you're scared because someone you know is gonna get the virus. Or maybe you're scared because someone you know is gonna die from this virus. Or maybe you're scared because, you know, you're not doing too good in online classes and you, you're scared that your grades are going to go down. 
or maybe you're scared because you're all alone and you miss your friends and maybe you think you'll never you're never gonna see them again or maybe you're scared because your parents are fighting a lot I got good news for you actually no 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 I have great news for you wait wait no no no. I have amazing news for you wait wait no I have good great amazing fantastic unbelievable news for you Jesus knows the plan he has for you Jesus knows your future he knows that there will be a lot of good in your future so you don't have to worry about what's gonna happen in the future because Jesus has everything under control and in your future there are a lot of good things remember you don't have to worry about your future because Jesus is standing right next to you just like how he was with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the blazing furnace Jesus is with you. Jesus knows your future. He knows that there's gonna be a lot of good things. And guess what? If you search for Jesus with all your heart, you will find him. If you spend time every day reading your Bible and praying, you know what that means? That means that you're searching for Jesus. You're looking for Jesus with all of your heart. And remember, when you look for Jesus with all of your heart, you find him. And when you find Jesus, you know that everything is going to be okay. Your future, you don't have to worry about it because Jesus knows the good things that are going to happen in your future. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you because you have everything under control. You have our future under control, God. You know that everything is going to be okay. Jesus, remind us to spend time with you every day, reading our Bibles and praying to you so that we can find you, Lord. Because we know that that when we do find you, everything is going to be okay. Thank you for everything, Lord. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. See you guys tomorrow for our fourth day of Chapel at Home, a.k.a. Week of Prayer, a.k.a. Story Time with Pastor Link. Love you all and have a great day. Bye.